Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, the Speaker Freak 98 back here today. I'm doing a review on this Fisher Tower speaker I have, uh, model DS826, I believe. Uh, so now my last video, my workshop overview, uh, I had this in it. The front was all white original wood, um, and the woofer that was not original. Well, it was original. It was the white woofer with the black comb. So I got the, I got rid of that and upgrade to this woofer. Uh, it's equally or better because. Uh, well, it's a replacement, and uh, it's got better bass response, and uh, yeah, I just like the way it looks. And I also upgraded the tweeter, or no, the uh, mid-range, I upgraded that too, and the tweeter. Because all that was originally blown in the cabinet with the speaker that I bought for it. And uh, the cabinet was all uh, rotted away and uh, all water damaged and stuff, so I replaced that. And the back of it, of course, with the... Uh, Fresh new uh, speaker terminal, and the porthole, that's all original. Just cut a hole out, put some gasket tape around that, along with the uh, mid-range tweeter and the woofer, just to get a better uh, seal on the sound, of course. And some what else I did is I added some brackets on each corner, just to make it more secure, and part of the cabinet was falling apart uh, when I bought it, so I also added some in the back, too. I don't know if you can see those, but I added a... Uh, Four on each side just to stabilize it. And I got some felt pads on the bottom too so I don't scratch the shit out of my uh, dresser right here. And I'm also uh, going to give you guys a test on um, my next video. Uh, this one's kind of short and went for my uh, iPod amplifier player right now to charge. So yeah, I'm going to play it on this Technic Stereo model SA160. For reference for all you uh, speaker addicts out there and audio enthusiasts. So yeah, this will be the end of this video, and I'll see you guys in part two. All right, later.